Hey guys, Jeremiah, Steps Pressure Washington Moore. We're out in Smithfield, North Carolina today. And I'm going to be washing this house behind me. We've only got one project on for the day. And we're looking like we are maybe going to get some rain. You can kind of see the darker clouds behind me. Uh, I wash in the rain, especially when it's light rain like what we're expecting today. But I'll show you what we've got going on. This beautiful home out here in the country. Got a tobacco field right next door. It's been a couple years since it's been washed. Their last pressure washer flaked out on them, so they've uh, got a little bit of buildup here on the front, but nothing too crazy. But you can definitely notice it as you're driving by, so we're going to get that all cleaned up for them. Uh, low water pressure, so giving the tank some time to fill up. And we've discussed with the homeowner some areas here they let me know about some uh, paint coming off the fascia so we're hitting that all with low pressure today and a lot of wasp nests just kind of up in the different corners so we're going to clean those out for them while we're here uh, nothing too crazy we've got maybe a, maybe five mile an hour wind today so i see no issue hitting any of these peaks uh, even if we had a little bit more wind it would be no problem so uh, this little patch here, we've already talked with the homeowner about. They explained to us what happened, so we're not really worried about that. There's significant oxidation all over the house, so that's also been discussed with the homeowner. Right back here, we have the Easy Breeze windows, which we're going to be washing these the same way we do normally. I'll pre-wet them, wash the areas around them, uh, kind of like the soffits and gutter line up here. And then come back and we're going to rinse them immediately just so that our SH doesn't get a chance to really do anything on there. And that's just kind of going to be all the way around. Needs a little bit extra love, but it's no problem at all. It's just one of those little things you do as a professional that you have to do. All right. Well, hopefully the tank is filled up a little bit more. Got to make my mix. I've been doing a lot of work in North Raleigh lately, so I've been trying to carry as little pre-mix as I can just for weight purposes. This trailer is a little bit uh, underpowered for what I'm using it for now, which is why I'm looking into a uh, larger trailer with a higher weight capacity. But for right now, this one's going to do. And we really, that walk around, it took me from about here uh, maybe about here to about here so this is this is very slow to fill so i'm going to be off the trigger as much as i can be today all right let's get this thing washed all right so i got the entire area around the easy breeze taken care of uh, that was kind of the big issue on this house for me as far as uh, washing strategy so now that, that is out of the way it should be easy breezy all the way through just a simple add the sh and let it dwell rinse off thoroughly so um you know the process i did on the easy breeze was rinse all the easy breeze wash all of the area around it re-rinse the easy breeze to get anything that might have splattered onto it and then let the area dwell for about five to ten minutes and uh, then I rinsed everything again so top down to make sure that anything I was rinsing off of the area around the easy breeze windows was getting rinsed off of the easy breeze windows as well and that's not necessarily just that brand I don't know the exact style of them. I'm just going to call them clear vinyl windows. But I was introduced to them as Easy Breeze windows. And I did research on Easy Breeze windows and how to wash them and how to care for them before ever washing around them. Uh, luckily, one of my clients let me know that they had that before I came out. So I had time to do that. But definitely knowing how to clean the materials 
that you are out there cleaning uh, goes a long way on uh, actually being a professional at this rather than just being chucking a truck. So if you're going to take it seriously, you got to learn how to clean them all. And when you don't know, you've got to stop and say, I don't know. That stream there a little bit to get up high. Again, there is no wind today, virtually, so this is just a simple game of applying Kim. And I don't have to fight the wind. We were supposed to get some rain today. But it looks like I might be able to make it all the way through this one without getting too wet. Alrighty, so I ended up having to bring out the three foot extension. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit and that's kind of expected. Getting a little bit more rain and blowing in out of the north. So it's blowing in nice cool air for me today. But hitting these peaks is uh, just, you know, a little bit more difficult. Four gallon from the machine has its limitations. And so having this extra little bit here helps me reach a little higher. Not terribly higher, but just enough to, to make it happen. And uh, it also helps with the atomization, which I know I need a six inch extension for everyday use, but this makes it happen, makes it work, so not going to knock it. It's just hard to do one hand, you know. Got a lot of force there on the front of the gun, so not going to be doing a whole lot of filming while I walked with it, but it has come through in a pinch. And keeps it going. All right, there she is, nice and cleaned up and pretty. And we definitely fought some wind today as these uh, darker clouds have moved around, but for the most part, this has been a pretty simple, straightforward house. Uh, definitely dirty, definitely in need of a wash, but it came out really, really well. I'm gonna go shut this off. As you can see here, we are clean all the way to the peaks. Nice bright white soffits. Took my time, got all the stuff out of the crevices. And whew, you can see that white popping. Just absolutely beautiful. Went on through, easy breeze, looks like it has dried very well, no issues at all. I love the white trim after SH. There's a couple spots around the easy breeze that didn't quite come out, but you know that was due to caution, so I'd rather leave it a little bit dirty than leave it a little bit damaged. And over here, very oxidized, but nothing worse than what it was when we found it. Easy breezy. All right, well, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Y'all be safe out there.